make us think that we're not effective. Come on now. He wants to make us think what now? Can, let me prove it to you. You, you, ever, you. you ever had somebody trying to make you mad and they was really ticking you off and you tried to act like it wasn't bothering you? Come on, let me see your hand. And you know it was killing you. You just wanted to say, ooh. But when you got around, you just bust out and start crying because you know. I can't believe they did it. But when you was with them, it was like, yeah, you were home. Oh yeah, sticks and stones will break my walls, but where will they Words will hurt you, brother. Come on, Are you listening to me? And so we've been talking about the journey as we move forward. Somebody say, just do it. We need to know that we received Christ. And as we would start out, we started this walk with the process of Christian, Christian growth and winning the battle. You know, the, the Lord said to me, He said that we, we've heard the word of God. When we get saved, the first thing that happens is we hear the word of God. Somebody say, I heard the word. And once we hear the word of God, the second thing we do is we believe it. Somebody say, I believe it. And when we believe and, and we believe what we heard, we became sorry for our sins. Come on, are you with me? We saw the need for Christ and God saved us. That's called conversion. Somebody say conversion. conversion. Then the next step in our life, we believe God. God, when we believe God, God took us out of the kingdom of darkness and placed us in the kingdom of light. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. He placed us where? In the kingdom of light. He placed us and took us and placed us in a position alongside his son Jesus. And then he applied Christ or Jesus' righteousness to me. And he declared me righteous. That's called what? Justification. It's called what now? And so, so when we became justified and, and we became righteous, and then we received the Holy Ghost, he restored us back to the original state where we were, where Adam was with him in the garden. Are you with me? And so when God saves us and gives us the Holy Spirit, now the, the part of us that was dead, having made alive by God, He places us and puts us back into the right place. It is called regeneration. He makes all things new to us. He brings us a new spirit. He gives us a new mind. Are you with me? And so the moment we became regenerated, then all hell broke loose. Because the moment you said you were saved, the moment you said you were saved, the enemy started. Come on, can I get a witness? The moment you said, I'm going to start coming to church, guess what? The enemy started. Let me tell you something. The devil is not worried about you going to church. The devil don't want you to, the devil don't care about you going to church. He don't want you to get involved and get connected. And see, some of you wonder why, Pastor, why are you always trying to push me to get involved? Why are you trying to push me to get involved? I'm pushing you to get involved because the enemy don't want you to get involved. Because when you don't get, get involved, you don't have a purpose. Are you with me? Are you listening to me? And so he wants to disconnect you. But I want every one of you that are part of this ministry, I need to feel you. I need you. I want you to get involved. I want you to get connected. Get connected to Pastor and I so that we can continue to pray for you so you can go to the place where God wants you to go. The enemy wants you to stand on the outside looking in and make you think you don't fit in. But I tell a different with you today that God has called you for greatness. I have somebody to say I've been called for greatness. God wants you to win. Are you hearing me? Amen. We've been on this road for a while about spiritual process and about winning. And, 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 and I, I got to stay on this road so that you can start winning more battles than you're losing. Amen. Are you with me? Right. Are you listening to me? Amen. And we've learned words like justified. We've learned words like conversion and regeneration. Today, later on in our message, if I get to it, I'm going to talk about sanctification. Somebody say sanctification. sanctification. We've heard that word. It, it, sanctification, you know, we call it being sanctified. Somebody say sanctified. sanctified. And so there is a process about sanctification. Somebody say it's a process. Sanctification don't happen overnight. It's a process that you go through with. You're not a loser. It ain't over yet. If you look at the story of Lazarus, you'll think it was over for him. Oh yeah. 
If you look at the athlete, he said it again, he'll think it was over. Yeah. But Jesus showed up in the game. Y'all yeah. saw that movie, the six, I think it was the six man. The six man showed up in the team. Ducking. People got ready to jump. They were flying through the air because there was a six man on the court. I don't know about the six man, but I got the third man. But God, your friends thought you were going to make it. They lied on you. You used to be on crack. You used to be a drunk. You used to be a liar. Until God does something for me that nobody else can do. He pulled me out of the mess and I thought I would never come out of it. Are you listening to me right now? Oh then somebody like this person said, well, what can God do for you? I'll tell you what he can do. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, yeah. above all, yeah. that we can ask yeah. of faith according yeah. to the power that's in you. Are you listening to me? There's a power in you that you don't recognize that God gave you. Not the power to lose, but the power to win. Sometimes God will allow the devil to win so that you can really get the victory. Don't miss that. Amen. Are you listening to me? You got to understand that he's going to do something great. Amen. And so as we move into the things of God, I want you to turn to the word sanctification, Deanna. I want you to talk about it. Somebody say it's a process. It's a process. I want to define it for you. So, so I said all this is, I said all this to say, as we move into sanctification, it is not your job to make it happen. Are you listening to me? You can't do nothing on your own, no way. Tell your neighbor, you can't do it on your own. Are you with me? And so, that's a bit wordy, but I want you to catch this, Pastor. I want you to read for me. Somebody say sanctification. I'm going to do this and I'm going to get ready to close. I'm going to spin it. I did say that. Y'all know I've got to pick up this stuff off the floor. Somebody lost your heel. I don't know who it was. Somebody lost your heel. <laughs> I'm going to put it in an awesome family. <laughs> it's yours. Some of y'all were shouting at this one, but you lost your hair. Y'all saw that lady on the pop the other night, she was shouting so much she took her wig off. I came right out of the spirit when she did that. Somebody said sanctification. Listen, listen to this. Listen. Come on, Pastor. It involves more than a mere moral reformation of character. Come on. Brought about the, by the power of the truth. It is a sanctification, the power of the truth. What is the truth? The word of God. Right. Sanctification, what else is the truth? I hear God saying, the truth is also the Holy Spirit. It is called the spirit of what? Truth. Are you with me? So sanctification comes through the, uh, the word of God and is, and is brought on by the power of the Holy Ghost in your life. Yeah. Are you listening to me? It ain't something that you can do on your own. Y'all hear me? Some of you are failing because you're trying to do it on your own. Yeah. You can't do this by yourself. Are you listening? That's why some of y'all jack your head and trying to be cheap. Go on to down and see Tamika and let her put a perm in your head. <laughs> and, 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 and so, with some time, we have to get some help in order to survive. Somebody say, I need some help. I need some help. I heard that verse say no lip. Come on, read back. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. It is the work of what now? The Holy Spirit. Come on. Bringing the whole nature. Now watch this, watch this. Sanctification just doesn't deal with the character of a man, right. his personality. But sanctification deals with the nature of a man. Yeah. It deals with what now? The nature of a man. And so watch this, I hear the Holy Spirit. So when you be, when the Holy Spirit comes in your life, you don't start dressing like you say and then live like a whatever. Uh -huh. Come on. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why you can't get caught up in what folks, uh, what they look like and how they dress. You need to understand 